How's it going, my man? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, my guy? What up? How you doing, youngster? What's going on? Youngster with flow. How's it going, guys? What's going on? Oh, John. Cool. Hey, welcome to the channel, guys. Um, appreciate you guys coming on. Thanks for having us, brother. For sure, my man. Um, can you let everyone know uh, what you guys what you guys uh, named are? Shit, I'm Youngster with Flow. Yep. What's back in there, buddy? I'm Perry on J Key, J K. Okay. Good to meet you. Um, could you uh, let everyone know your socials too, so they can tap in with you? Follow me on Yasmin Flow, Yasmin Flow, all platforms. And me, I'm Perry on J Key, P E R Y O N J K E E, one word. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to say, um, long live Slim Slim 400. Um, I've been a fan for a while. I first saw him with uh, YG and Sad Boy Loco on uh, Track Brews, and I think on YG's channel. Um, so. Yeah, I just wanted to see that and uh, rest in peace and stuff. And I kind of wanted to like continue on his legacy and let people know about him, you know, and the good times you guys had with him and stuff like that, you know. If I could speak, you know. Hey man, first and foremost, man, we want to say thank you, man, and we appreciate that, bro, for real, man. Especially on his family and his daughter and the whole squad on, on their behalf, man. You know, he was a big part of a lot of people's lives, man. So just you, you just, you helping us keep his legacy alive. You feel me? That's good. That's awesome. I appreciate that. That's what I'd like to do. Thank you. Most, most definitely. Yeah, so, um, um, so you, what was, you say you a Slim 400 fan, right? Yeah. How big of a fan are you? Let me, let me hear three songs that you fuck with from Slim. Um, straight up Bompton, um, uh, straight up Bompton, um, Shake Back and uh, Bruising. Those are those are probably my favorites. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. there's a few other ones like uh, one with four racks. It's called uh, I'll Wait. Um, he did the production on it. That one's pretty dope too. That's it all. Yeah, I interviewed uh four racks from Mechanics. Uh, everyone check out that interview too. It's pretty good. Yeah, um, so if you guys want to talk about uh, about your time with him or how you first met him, you know. And, and first up, um, what do you do? Um, do you do you do rap too? Because I know a uh, youngster does. I... Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, man, I do porn, man. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, man, no, nah, I do music, bro. No, like that's why I was asking you what's your favorite songs because I got a lot of records with Slim. Matter of fact, we had a whole tape together called Greater Later. You oh, know? okay. Oh shit. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm the one that's singing on the Pyro hook. I twist my fingers on the corner, sell crack cocaine and <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what's up. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. That's my H Moon Coon, though, bro. You know. That's my, that's like my brother, man. We know each other for a long time. And I watched him grow, you know, do his thing. You know, that nigga was just selling merchandise for, um, for Lil Buddha, for YG, I'm sorry. He was doing, he was doing merchandise for YG, you know, just going on the road, doing shit like that. <clears throat> All the homies start telling that nigga, hey man, start doing music, my nigga. The people like you, you feel me? That nigga started rapping. And shit, it was on ever since. Oh, know? yeah, 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 for sure. That's awesome. Cool. Um, are you from uh, Compton? Me? Nah. You mean on like some gangbang shit? No, I, I didn't oh. know if you were from Compton with uh, with Slim. I didn't know if you were oh, nah, from around there. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm from Louisiana, right? But my affiliation to L.A. is Inglewood. Okay, Inglewood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Did did you uh like live around near Slim Four Hundred for a long time? Yeah. Okay. We actually lived, we actually lived together for a long time. Matter of fact, in twenty eighteen or nineteen, whenever that was, he got shot the last time. Um, I'm the one that you know pretty much nursed him back to health. He stayed with me when he, you know, what I'm saying he left the lady, came to Vegas, and stayed with me here. You know. That's my right hand man. When I tell you that's my brother, it's my right hand man. You feel me? You know. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Uh. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. He went on uh, at that time. I think when he just got out of jail or something around that time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah, man, I nursed that nigga back to health. I mean, that's my that's my nigga, man. This shit fucked up, you know. This shit still hurts, man. It, you know, the pain the pain runs deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was a big part of everybody life. Like, you know, like we got a big squad, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga was the glue, man. He was the glue, you feel me? Like we kept that shit together, man. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck niggas gonna do now, man. Yeah. It's yeah, he was really even headed up even more than he was. He was just climbing, building like real fast. You know, I could tell. He was really on his shit. Yeah. Nigga had movies coming, all kind of shit, man, coming up, bro. Like, shit just fucked up, man. Unfortunate, man, you know. Yeah, I remember on his IG, um, I was watching it before what happened. Like, he was talking about, he was going out to dinner and stuff, and he was talking about his new weed strand stuff, like new brand and stuff like that. He was really yeah, leveling up, for sure. For sure, for sure. Can you talk about uh, when you first met him and stuff, and what he was like, and, and what you were doing at the time? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, man, the first time I met him, I met him through my big homie, Ten Four. This is my big homie right here. What's good? Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Good. You want to let everyone know your uh, your name and your uh, your IG handle so people can follow you too? Yeah, I go by Ken Four. Uh, you can find me on Instagram though as uh, the Wooster. T H E underscore W H R O P S T T A two T. Uh, yeah, as far as with Slim, man, I've been doing Slim, you know, since I was young, you feel me? Uh, Slim was a bold person, you feel me? I, well, I always had a big heart, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't one like one of them cat, you know, like um, niggas that just know they from somewhere and they <coughs> like, stiff or like they ain't got homies, like Slim was an open, you feel me? Like, that was a real trick time, real homie. Uh, shit, sad as fuck that that shit had to happen. But uh, anytime Slim came to the H, you know, it was all love, you feel me? It was, and vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So, and I've uh, I've been doing music. Uh, the homie Young's been doing music, so we've been following up with bro. Uh, I got to know bro really through homie Perry Young and uh, one of my homies, Awee, that passed away not too long ago. He actually got shot the same day. Slim got shot, but he died that day. You know what I'm saying? But uh, T.T.I.P. the homie, but uh, that's how I really started functioning with the homies, reaching out to J. Key, and you know they've been they've been number love since. Oh wow! Okay, huh. pretty interesting. Yeah, cool. Did you uh, perform at South by Southwest too? Oh no, I didn't perform South by Southwest. I mean, I rap. But I'm more like you know, I do management too, promoting and all that. But I do got a uh, I have my plan on dropping for the year. Okay. Cool. Oh, good. Yeah, it's sad to see what happens and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. What What were some good times you had with him when he was around in, in Houston and everything? Well, shit, just, man, good times, good energy. Positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? You buy blood of Henny, you feel me, shit? He's going to be his best friend, you feel me? Like, that, that's his drink, you feel me, so... I you know, but good vibes with Slim, man. He, if you if you quiet in the room, he gonna make you, he gonna force you to come out. Like, he gonna be yourself around for love. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. Slim brought nothing good energy around the room. He showed love to everybody. You know what I'm saying? He most definitely was, you know what I'm saying? Like, a big homie, you know what I'm saying? So, so shit, unfortunately, shit had to happen. But, I 
we gonna keep that shit bracket for blood, you know, ice water, ice water, everything, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, for sure. Keep his memory alive for sure, yeah. Yeah, I think he seemed like a pretty positive dude and a pretty cool dude. Like he was always in smiling and everything, like having fun. Yeah. From what I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> You want to uh, turn the camera over so I can talk to him? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, um. Uh, how was it? Um, like, let me think. Um, how was it in the lab and stuff? Like, what, what songs were really memorable working with him, you know? We got a song coming out. I don't, I don't know what, we, I don't know what we gonna call that song. We gonna call it. I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Shit, that's the name here for sure. That was coming soon. It's coming soon though. It's coming soon. It was lit though. Oh, nice. What's up? Cool. Yeah, I wanted to know. I want to know from him about how he made those tracks with with Slim. Can you turn the camera over to you see? Yeah, nice. Yeah, so so how was it and stuff growing up with Slim? And uh, about how old were you when when you first met him? Like, when I first met him, I was probably about eighteen or nineteen. Eighteen or nineteen, he was at the um, the. Uh, Bloodstone Villains it was at their hood day. You know, they was having a neighborhood blood party. I seen him in there. You seen me in there. All the homies from Inglewood, man. Chopped it up. You know, that was it. You know, they wasn't calling them Slim back then, though. I mean, they wasn't calling them Slim 400. You know what I'm saying? So he went by his hood name back then. <clears throat> and then I seen him probably about 10 years later, and the nigga was a rapper. So, you know, I linked up with a matter of fact, matter of fact, I ran back into blood at um the homie Yada. Shout out to Yada in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? Uh that's back when I was with MMG, you know what I'm saying? So it was a connection. I slid to I slid to Yada's crib to shoot a video with uh with him and Tracy T. We shooting a video, the nigga 50 Rich pull up, you know what I'm saying? Slim pull up, a couple other niggas pull up. So we having a, you know, gangster party out there, man. And the nigga was like, hey, my nigga, we need to link up. I'm really doing music now. We do <laughs> like, so, blood, let's do it, you know what I'm saying? So I go back to Miami, I'm doing my thing. Like two weeks later, YG and Gunplay got a video, you know what I'm saying? It was having a video. So, I jump on the plane from Miami, come back over here with Gunplay. We back in the Bloodstone Village neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? When we first met 10 years ago, you know what I'm saying? That's where they shot the video at. So, you know, that's got to be God, man. We chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase. And he like, nigga, look, he like, we both like the side men to the men because I'm Gunplay right here, man. He the big artist. He YG right here, man. He the big artist. He like, we need to link up crush niggas, you feel me? I'm like, for sure, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, that night, call me up, we go to the, uh, to YG crib, to the studio and shit, and that's when we put the song Pyru together, you know what I'm saying? We just going through beats, all that shit sounding weak. I'm like, nigga, nigga, bring up that old do or die beat, you know what I'm saying? He brought up the old do or die beat, my nigga, I just freestyled it off the top of the head, you know what I'm saying? And, but nigga YG came downstairs, the homie Wolf, everybody came in and like, oh, nigga, that shit hard, oh, nigga. <laughs> uh-huh, that's awesome. That. Yeah, man, that was a hit. That's a hit made, man. When you Google the word Pyro, that's the first thing gonna come up, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That song right there. Uh, that's what's up, for sure. <laughs> so we made history, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. Huh? Yeah, that's what's up. Too, man, Red Rum was on that song too, you feel me? So, you know, rest in peace to my nigga. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. So, so how was it uh, coming up? You said you were with MMG? Yeah, 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 I was with them for a minute. 
and my niggas, that's family. You know what I'm saying? They gave me my first opportunity in the game. Oh, for real. That's what's up. Shout out, shout out to Gunplay. Shout out to Ricky Rose. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, was uh, yeah. was Meek around at that time when you were with him? Um, yes, yes. Yes, he was. Meek came probably like about a year after me. You know what I'm saying? All right. around that same time. Around that same time. Uh, okay. Right. But see, Meek, Meek was already buzzing in the streets, you feel me? So it was easy for Ross to put the nut up on him and push him out there. You know what I'm saying? He already had his shit going. In Philly, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Um, yeah, but look, hey, most memorable time, though, making a song with this nigga Slim, though, you feel me? We was in Torrance, California. It was my birthday, November 7th. I forgot what, what, what year it was, but he called me up, like, hey, bro, come to the studio. You know, I got a surprise for you. You know, like I told you, I'm from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, like, Boosie and Webby, like, they're my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? Pimp C, niggas like that. So I'm like, all right, but I'm like, I ain't only want to record. I'm just, the, I'm just chilling, you feel me? But the nigga like, man, just pull up, bro, pull up. I pull up, the nigga Webby over there, you feel me? He like, oh, he like, nigga, I've been hitting your shit, man. Whoopie whoop. He like, nigga, Slim been talking you up. He like, nigga, let's get a song in. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, we just nigga start smoking right there, and that's how we came up with the song Candy Red with me, Webby, and Slim 400. You feel me? Like, you know, right there on the spot on my birthday. So, you know, that was that was his birthday present to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was that type of nigga. He could have kept that feature for himself. He could have did whatever the fuck he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? But he called me up and, you know, made that shit happen, man. You know, real nigga, man. Real shit, uh, uh, That's what's up, man. That's a cool story. That's one, man. That's cool.